Hey, subscribe to this channel. You know why? I'm going to show you how to make soup. Soup's easy, delicious, and healthy. And today's soup, lima bean. Hey, you may not like lima beans, so you can substitute another bean for it. But I love lima beans. They're creamy, delicious, and these are jumbo lima beans. So they're nice. It's like a, each lima bean is like a meal in itself. That's fantastic. Wonderful soup. Great flavor. So easy. You know what else is easy? Go to my Shopify store. That's right. I leave a link in the first comment. It's always paying, so it's always the first comment. And you can go right to the store. Pick out a sweatshirt, a t-shirt. I got tote bags. I got hats. Oh, man, I got everything out there. So, um, check it out. My Shopify store. Click the link. It's in the first comment. All right. And now, let's get cooking. Okay, so like with all the soups, you have like nice flavor in there from the broth, from the seasonings. But you get that aromatic flavor. Mmm, that smells delicious. You know what that's from? The vegetables. We're going to put some vegetables in this soup. We're going to use one, like, nice-sized carrot. Not a jumbo jumbo carrot and not a tiny carrot. And we're going to small dice everything. About a quarter of an inch dice. Check that out. Hey, that's beautiful. Cel now, celery is something that a lot of people don't really like. And what I want to do with the celery first thing is peel it. That's right, peel it. I want to get those little uh, strings off of it. See these strings? No good. They get stuck in your teeth. Not pleasant. So I peel the strings off. I'm only using two ribs of celery. That's all I need. Nice. Next thing I'm going to use is just a small onion. I'm going to dice this too. Beautiful. I'm going to use a red pepper. Hey, this is a big red pepper. It's too big. I got to cut in half. But this is how I want to cut this pepper. I want to cut the ends off. Then I want to cut the sides off. That's garbage. I can't use that for anything. It's bitter. It's not good. Don't use it. Then I have all this pepper here. I can dice it all up, nice. The top and the bottom's a little difficult to dice, but it'll work. And I'm gonna use about half of the pepper. Hey, that's a good size right there, see that? Okay, so that's the vegetables. Very important. Now let's talk about the bean. I got on um, special lima beans. Hey, they're dried lima beans. See those? Dried lima beans. Awesome. Okay, so you have to soak these because, especially these, because they're bigger than regular beans. If you use white beans, you don't soak them. It's going to take a lot longer to cook. So soak those too. But these are really important to soak because they're big. Hey, they're big. Soak them. Okay, so what do we do? I love these deli containers for this purpose. I put a half a pound of beans in there. And I'm going to add two cups of water. I'm going to cover this. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator overnight. 
Hey, next day, you know what happens? There you go. Look how many beans are there. These beans grew like crazy. It takes a lot less time to cook. Because I don't want to be cooking these for, you know, two or three hours. I just want to cook them for a little while. Get the flavor going. Yeah. It's going to be a good soup. Really. Okay. Before. After. Okay. You see what's going on? The beans just absorb all that water. Okay. I have this fire on medium. I'm going to add just a teaspoon of oil. Very little bit. I don't want too much oil in there. Okay, so I got one teaspoon of oil. And this pot's a nice, heavy Dutch oven. Okay, this is a cast iron pot covered in enamel. Very nice. Great for soup because it cooks nice and gently. That's what you want to cook your soup. Cook your soup gently, like me. I'm a chef. I know how to cook soup. All right. Yeah, I can't stop laughing. Hey, you have all these vegetables you chopped. Very nice, right? In it go. I want to saute these vegetables for about five minutes. So it give me a lot of nice flavor. So these vegetables have been cooking for about five minutes. I don't want them to get any color on. I just want to cook them a little bit. Then I'm going to throw three cloves of chopped garlic in there. Woo! That's good. And I have four cups, four cups of vegetable broth. It's a 14 ounce can of diced tomato. We'll throw a bay leaf in there. One bay leaf. Hey, it's important to know how many bay leaves you put in. Because you gotta take these bay leaves out. They're, they're not edible. So you put it in, the flavor comes off the bay leaf, and then you take it back out at the end of the cooking process. Wonderful. And I have a half a teaspoon of dried oregano. Oh, right there. Woo, that's smelling good. Terrific. Hey, I don't like to add the soaking liquid. Like, there's a little bit of soaking liquid, liquid left in here. I don't like to add it. You know, there's a, it's, like a, it's like a rumor that says that the liquid gives you gas. And that's not a good thing. Especially for a guy like me. It's not good. I just want to get most of that. Liquid out. There we go. Now I'm going to add these beans to the soup. Woo! Wonderful. And I'm going to add one more thing. A little Worcestershire sauce. I love this. Now, okay. Worcestershire sauce. It's not vegan. It's almost vegan. It's got a little bit of anchovy in it. So it's not really vegan. So you can go to a health food store and you can get a vegan Worcestershire sauce if you want to. I don't because I don't want to drive the extra two miles to go to a special store to get it. That's me. That's my preference. Hey, if you have a, I don't know, quarter of a teaspoon of, of, of anchovy uh, every uh, two, three weeks, that's not so bad. So I use regular Worcestershire. I don't get crazy. My condiments, I use regular Worcestershire. It's fine. What I did find is low sodium Worcestershire. Hey, that's good. That's good. So, I got low sodium Worcestershire. That's fine. I got to put in two teaspoons in the soup. Give it a nice little flavor. Wonderful. Worcestershire got a nice flavor. Fantastic. Let's do that. Hey, that soup looks good already. Okay, I'm going to let this soup simmer for about an hour and a half. Simmer very slowly. I don't want it to boil, because if you boil, all the ingredients get banged around and you get like a very cloudy kind of muddy kind of soup. No good. Soup's got to be simmered very slowly. Wonderful. This soup's going to be delicious. All right. So I covered it. Now I'm going to simmer it 90 minutes. Hey, 90 minutes. I can watch three episodes of Judge Judy. Ha, that's fantastic. All right, so it's been 90 minutes. And Judge Judy's fantastic. What a show. I learned a lot. Like you're learning a lot during this video. It's fantastic. Okay, anyway, I gotta show you something. Check out those beans. They're delicious. I love those beans. Big. Like to bite into them. It's like a meal in itself. Creamy, delicious bean. Wonderful. Wonderful. And so much flavor in this soup. Gotta have a nice bowl of soup. All right. 
Delicious. Hey, you think this is good? You gotta check out my mushroom barley soup. That's fantastic. I'm gonna have a bowl of this right now. All right.